<laughs> I don't know what I did for that cat to go crazy, but I must have done something. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we're going to do Yaimiko's quest. We've done A's, we've done Ito's recently. Probably our third back-to-back -back long one-hour-plus video. Cat's back. <laughs> anyway, hi, welcome. I hope you will enjoy this video as well. Let's start by unlocking it. Here we go. Story quests. Yaimiko. Divina Volpes, chapter, act one. Volpes, I believe, in Latin maybe it means fox, I believe, you know, because there, Volpix, it has, there's definitely something related to fox with it. Let's claim key, and uh, get started, cancel Yai. Yai is cancelled, GG. It's over. If you don't have her, she's cancelled, it's over. Take a stroll around Hanamizaka. Wow, look at that, I have 69 pins. Ha <laughs> ha, let's go, what a good day it's gonna be today, actually I should buy my nets. Hello, fellow villagers. It's me. We haven't been to the Yai Publishing House in a while. Mm -hmm. Paima wonders if they have any new books in. Don't know. The one we read with A that time was pretty cool. Do we care about books? Come on, this is a no-brainer, man. There's only one thing worth wishing for, and that is a ton of Mora. Whoa, 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 whoa. But the exam's next week. If I fail again, I'm seriously done for. I'm better off wishing that my exam goes smoothly. He's right, then you can make more Mora with the exam. Crazy. Uh, it's just an exam. Trust me, there's no problem you can't solve by throwing <laughs> Mora at it. If it doesn't work, then just keep throwing till it does. Nah, that's not true. What are they arguing about? About money. It's quite a spirited debate. Oh, now they, now we got caught. Paimon, this is the least sneaky eavesdropping I've ever done. Huh? Really? You guys don't know? You guys don't know? More important? Doesn't Yai do the lottery or something? You need but stand on this land at midnight, lower your head and recite a special incantation, then your wish will come true! What does that mean? Is it from a novel? Looks like you guys really aren't in the loop. No, we're not. This, my friends, is the next big thing. Really? A highly effective wish ritual no guaranteed way. to make your wishes come true. Wow, this is very Genshin. I mean, I got Yai within one temple. I don't think I need your rituals. I think my rituals are pretty good. A wish ritual? That actually works? Nah, this does not sound credible. Right? Even Paimon knows that's just not how the world works. Yeah, even Paimon knows that. And Paimon's a floating <laughs> I baby. I didn't believe it at first either. But that changed when it worked for someone I know. Right. It's this guy called Kunihika. What he wished for. He's practically always been unemployed, uh -huh. wastes his days away, uh -huh. and he owes a lot of money. Right. Like, a lot. But get this. A lot. I don't see him for a few days, and suddenly, I find him dressed to the nines and feasting at a high-class restaurant. Right. Getting scammed. And this dog knows it. I heard it directly from him. He used this wishing ritual, and the next day he woke up to find his whole bed filled high with Mora. I don't believe it. His whole bed was filled with... <laughs> wow! <laughs> Paimon, calm down. You're so excited you can barely get the words out. Of course. I'm sure the part about waking up lying on a bed of Mora is a bit of an exaggeration. Right. Whether you believe it or not, it's not exactly a difficult ritual. Okay. It can't hurt to give it a try, right? You're gonna get robbed if you go there. If you're still feeling skeptical, just ask around. No. There are a lot of very compelling stories going around these days. I don't care. No. I don't want to ask around. This guy's neck does not look right right now. Well, come on! No. Let's go ask around right now, shall we? Why the sudden urgency? Because Mora's involved. Popeye wants Mora. Well, if it really is true, then it. just think of all the Mora Paimon could... Oh, and you'd finally be reunited with your twin, too. <laughs> let's go! That's the bonus! First the Mora, then the twin. The Great Narukami Offering. Divina Volpus Chapter Act 1. Let's get it. Investigate a Kaidan, I assume, that has been making the rounds recently. Oh, the Yai Publishing Boys. These guys have a commission, I believe. And you have to pick sides. Closer inspection, it seems like there really are a lot of people talking about this kind of stuff. People always talk about this stuff. Hey, see those two? No. Uh -huh. remembers them from the Yai Publishing House. That's what I said. One's an editor and the other's an author. I know. Grasp the thought in mind. Clear like, uh, clear like the light of the moon. It's close as kin with you. <laughs> no, thou. Wait, thee? Uh-huh. Uh, hear my summons, right? Oh my god. No, no, it's not hear my summons, it's heed my summons. Heed. Heed. <sighs> You're never going to get it down at this rate. Oh no. Hey, what are you guys up to? Wishing. Whoa, sheesh, you scared me. Sheesh. Okay. <sighs> okay. Sheesh. Uh, where did I leave off with the incantation again? At sheesh. <laughs> ah, man, I am not ready for this kind of dialogue right now. Incantation? Are you guys trying out this new wishing ritual stuff too? 
They are. Kichi is trying it out to be specific. He's hit a bit of a creativity block recently, so uh, I'm helping him make a wish that he can move past it. Creativity block? I recently have learned what an art block is. I'm, I'm learning. I didn't think you guys would believe in this kind of thing. Never listens to an outside opinion. Uh huh. So all I can do is go along with it. Okay. Mr. Shigeru, can you please be a little more accommodating? This is extremely important to me. <laughs> this guy's such a whiny guy. People have had all kinds of wishes come true, come more attractive, uh -huh. get rich quick, ace right. their studies. Uh -huh. I'm just a poor, struggling writer looking to get over a creative hurdle. Is that so much to ask? Poor, ugly, no studies, never look. Anyway, I just know this is going to work. I have a gut feeling about it. We don't Didn't believe you it. say the same thing when you went to make your wish at the Grand Narukami Shrine? Uh-huh. Oh, I just know this is gonna work. Right. I have a gut feeling about it. This guy's becoming my homie. Besides, you know, it's always odd to me. If you don't deserve the wish to come true, wouldn't it feel weird to achieve it anyway? The Omamori from the shrine gonna take make too the wish long come to have true. any effect on your luck. All right, enough of that. Help me get this incantation down. My new book depends on it. <sighs> Look, to be completely honest, I think you need to sit yes. down and have a good think about what kind of story you want to write. Yes. Where's all that self-confidence you had when you first yes. started out? Come on, Shiguru. Come on. I'm clapping, cheering you up. Come on, man. You can do this. You don't need no wishes. Use that brain of yours. Look at you now. Trying dubious methods from any old light novel. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. What? This wishing ritual comes from a light novel? Obviously. Yep. It's from the one called A First Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna summon a demon. It's the end of the world, by the way. Is it published by Yai Publishing House? No, it's most likely a self-published title. Most likely. It just appeared out of nowhere and took Inazuma by storm. So it's a scam. See, the easy guess here is that Yai published it and she's just doing it to have a good time and laugh at people that do it because she's definitely not going to make these wishes come true because it's her story, you know? So that'd be the guess. As a fellow writer, I'll refrain from passing comment on how well the story is written, mm -hmm. but everyone is saying the wishing incantations it contains are the real deal. Right. Look, Junkichi. Yes, everyone's saying it's real, it works, but that's only half the story. Uh -huh. I've also heard lots of people saying that everyone who's had their wish granted using this method starts behaving strangely. Uh-oh. What's so surprising about that? They're probably just giddy with joy at having their wish come true. Right. Hmm, this is starting to sound a little Only suspicious. now? Only now this sounds sus, Paimon. Okay, okay, whatever. What? Go to the Grand Narukami Shrine and ask Yai Miko about it. <laughs> what a weird train of thought. Last quest was about Egg, and Paimon didn't even remember Yai was someone, and now the first thing she thinks of is Yai? She's the expert when it comes to both light novels and the supernatural. Because she knows light novels, of course. Oh, I got the hand. I got the, the hand, the book. <laughs> Miss Miko. Miss Miko is me, it's also you. Miko! Great, you're here! <laughs> Ah, uh, smile on the face. Well, hello there, young ones. What young brings you ones. to the shrine? It I just so happens that I have you. a wonderful novel here. I highly recommend it. Let me guess, is it about wishes or some... <laughs> here comes the bootlicking again. We'd like your expert input on something. Oh? Well, what did you want to ask? What would it take for you to go on a date? I'm just kidding. I'm not doing it again. Well, we were just, uh, actually, you were kind of busy. <laughs> You're still praying. Is this a bad time? <laughs> My man has been standing there this way. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. It's nothing major. Okay. L Lady Guji, what do you mean, nothing major? I'm begging you, you've gotta help me save my brother. What? <laughs> What's up with him? It really is nothing major, I stand by that. Uh-huh. Oh, but since you're so curious, Always. let's have him relate the story one more time, just for you. Please? You two seem to have a good relationship with Guji, I. Uh-huh. Please, put in a good word for me. You have to convince her to help my brother. Is your brother perhaps the guy that got rich from one wish? I don't know if you want to help him. <laughs> Here's what happened. Okay. My name is Kato Yohei. Kato Yohei. My brother is Kato Shingo. Of course. And my internet died. <laughs> Mm, zero MS. Let's go. I'm dancing. I'm literally. I'm transcend. Oh, never mind. I'm lagging. I was gonna say I'm transcending time. I'm past what time is. I'm time traveling. I'm at zero MS. This is live. I'll try and fix this. But I've solved the root well, problem. What brings you to the shrine? The fact that I transcend time. Are you interested in it? Well, 
<laughs> well, hmm. You two seem to have a good relationship. No, we Here's don't. What happened? Domon turned okay, him away. Took one look at him and said he didn't have what it takes to train in the art of. Is the Domon the guy we know? My brother wasn't about to resign himself to defeat. Okay. He trained every day as hard as he could, and finally proved himself by defeating one of Domon's best disciples in a duel recently. Domon, he's the guy that ran right <laughs> in that one quest, I think. He's been acting extremely strange. So he did wish. Okay. It's like he's become a completely different person. Right. The doctors can't find anything wrong with him, so I'm betting it must be the work of an evil spirit. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm here, begging for Guji Yai's help. He did wish. He followed the book. <laughs> you know, there really aren't as many evil spirits lurking around as you seem to think. Right. Your brother achieved the goal he'd been striving toward for as long as he can remember, mm -hmm. and now it's gone. Right. It's only natural that he feels a little empty and lost while he's trying to find a new direction. She's pointing out the different direction as compared to like being over the top happy because you like got a ton of mora. Which I think both of these are wrong. There's there's definitely some, some fishies going on. If it were me, I'd just leave him be for a couple of days. He'll recover on his own soon enough. Right. No, Lady Guji. If you saw him for yourself, you'd know. I guarantee you, he's not acting like someone who feels empty and lost. He's not happy about this. Oh, all right, all right. Then tell me, when did your brother spar with Domon's disciple? When? About five days ago. Oh, five days. Yep, that was, uh, that was a red moon. Yeah, I always tell you, don't spar on the red moon. What do you want me to say, Kato? Wait, it was Kato or Yohei? I think it's Yohei. Hmm... Five days ago, you say? Oh, no way. Yes, Lady Guji. That's a long time for him to be acting up like this. I'm really worried about him. Okay. Our greatest wish is to one day found our own school, just like Domon. We can't jeopardize that dream now. You also go make a wish, wish for the school, go insane, and you won't know <laughs> that you're both insane. I found the fix. All right, next quest. Thanks for watching. Wait a minute. Now I'm a little confused. Are you here to save your brother, or are you here to make your dreams of founding a martial arts school come true? Uh-huh. Uh, well, they're kind of two sides of the same coin, Ooh. aren't they? Ooh, you came here for selfish reasons. Disgusting. Hmm? Whatever. Let me ask you this. Have you heard of any interesting new rumors lately? I have. If so, I'd love to hear about them. I have. What? Rumors? I... I haven't heard anything. Sus. Oh dear. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> Lady Guji, please stop changing the subject. Someone's life. This is someone's life we're talking about here. Please. What? What You've is he gotta doing? You gotta help me. Miko, he seems really desperate. This thing with his brother sounds really bad. He Come does look on, very pitiful. We should help him. I don't know. Okay, fine. Then it's decided. I feel like we don't have a say in this, but sure. Yay, Miko! So you're gonna help him? No. <laughs> Kato. Whatever your name was, <laughs> these two guests are trusted acquaintances of mine, and in fact, they are experts oh, in resolving all course. manner of strange and supernatural phenomena. Ugh. Exorcisms and that sort of thing are all in a day's work for them. Yeah, totally. Thanks, Miko. Yeah! Uh, wait a sec! Yeah, uh, your fault. I wouldn't have ever said help. Um, r really? No. Is that hesitation that I detect in your voice? <laughs> So, let me get this straight. You come begging to me for help, uh -huh. I actually recommend someone for the job, uh -huh. then suddenly you start doubting me? Yes. Not at all, never. He says not uh, at all and nods. Lady Guji says, I trust wholeheartedly. Thank you two for your willingness to help. We're not Please willing to help. Me. Let him go. The longer we wait, the further away he'll have ran. Then he'll realize we're not behind him, he'll look around and we won't be there. This is a great strategy, I just need to wait here for a while. We may be a lot of things, but we ain't exorcists! We have no clue about this. <laughs> Don't worry. If he wants an exorcism, just grab a handful of salt and mutter some mumbo jumbo while you're sprinkling it around. <laughs> yes, placebo, I love it. It's a common trope in light novels, right? Uh huh. You just have to have a bit of bravado. Right. As soon as the protagonist gains self-confidence, everything mm -hmm. else just magically falls into place. Okay, but what about this weird novel? We have to tell you about this thing we've heard recently. This is not a light novel, though. Pretty sure there's more to exorcism than bravado. Well, you were the ones who seemed concerned about his situation. Right. Don't you think it would be a little unfair to make me do all the work? I think I'd do the same thing as what Yai's doing. I just hate that I'm forced to be on the receiving end right now. You always want stuff back. You never do things for me for free, Yai. What the heck, man? This feels all wrong. You technically have a point, so... All right, let's so go. So I guess we're indebted. Don't worry now. I'll be coming along, too. Okay, well, that helps. Okay, let's follow Yohei and go visit his brother. He is, he's in Liwa already. You realize we've been talking. He went away running, Paimon. He is gone. <laughs> what is going on here? 
I don't know. Granted, you can never be quite sure what's going on in Miko's mind, True. but she seems even more disinterested than usual in Yohei's situation. Oh, he fell down a well. That's the story. Yasuda. Yasuda Sai. He's climbing a tree. He thinks he's a monkey. Mm, how strange. My brother's been meditating here pretty much constantly over the past few days, but now he's gone. Oh, crazy. Meditating? Meditating. Yeah, it's something that he suddenly started doing after defeating Domon's disciple. Right. He just sits there alone talking to himself. <laughs> it's pretty disturbing, actually. I don't know if you call that meditating. That, that's, I don't know about that one. I think you're silent when you meditate. But that's not important right now. Where the heck could he have gone in his current state? This does pose a bit of a problem. If we can't find your brother, well, we can't perform an exorcism with nothing to exercise, can we? Uh-huh. Kato, whatever your name was, oh my God. given the circumstances, why don't you start by going to find your brother and also picking up a handful of salt on your way? We'll need to use it during the exorcism. And to sprinkle over your dumbass when you realize you got memed. Okay, okay, got it. I'm on it. All right, then. Nico, what about us? Shouldn't we help look for his brother, too? No, no. We're just here for exorcism. <laughs> no need. While What's-His-Face is handling that, <laughs> so little we'll care. take a walk around and ask people what they know about the two brothers. Uh-huh. Maybe we'll find out some amusing details. Okay, I like that. Amusing. Mysterious <laughs> urban legend. Who would this be? Oh, nice stash, Nobuo. Hello, sir. We'd like to ask you about the Kato brothers. Yeah. Oh, are you debt collectors? No. Yohei said to tell you not to worry. He'll be able to pay you back as soon as he has enrolled a few disciples. <laughs> okay. Huh? Debt collectors? No, no, we're not here for anything like that. Right. But, uh, it sounds like Yohei and Shingo have gotten themselves into a bit of a pickle. Haha, <laughs> Pickle Rick 2018 meme or whatever it was. Well, yes. I don't think there's any disputing that. Those two don't have an ounce of dedication between them. Ah. They just hop between ideas and won't stick to anything. Right. Huh? So I start as bullshit. But Yohei said his brother has always wanted to become a sword master. Yeah. And even asked Domon to be a sensei. All fake. That's true, oh. yes. Shingo begged Domon to take him on, and eventually, he finally relented. But even after convincing a renowned sensei to give him a chance, he was the oh. same as ever. Bumming around in class instead of focusing on his training. Huh. In the end, Domon had had enough and kicked him out. Mm -hmm. But Shingo was resentful about it. Right. He blamed Domon for not seeing his potential, and even declared that he would challenge a disciple of Domon to a duel. Okay. Wait, what? Okay, sorry, we missed this line of dialogue. My hard drive actually is full of content. I need to delete some stuff. But he said, you go train hard, that's ridiculous. He just laid there cussing to the high heavens all day, every day, some training regimen that is. Yohei did tell me about Shingo winning the fight. But I took it with a grain of salt. You can ask Kenji at the village entrance more about that. He always has reliable information. Thank you, Nobuo. See, that's the kind of info, to the point, tells us what's up. I like that. Right here. Right here. That's what I'm saying. My boy, Kenji. Kenji Girac. Any French fans? <laughs> oh my god, what a reference. Hey there, we've come to ask you about the Kato brothers. Oh, you mean Shingo and Yohei? No, the other Kato brothers. Yeah! We heard that Shingo defeated an apprentice of Domon's recently. Is that true? Is it? <laughs> yes, it's true. Yes. Wait, so are you here because you heard they're starting their own school and you're looking to sign up? Absolutely not. We're not here to sign up, but we would like to hear more details about the fight. Well, you've come to the right person. I actually went to watch it. Great. I thought it was a joke when I first heard that Shingo was going to challenge a disciple of the Meikyo Shisui art. Right. But when he drew his sword... He became a whole different person. Cursed blade. The way he handled his blade, it was like flowing water. Whoa. Mesmerizing to watch. Domon's disciple is no pushover. He was absolutely no match for Shingo. What is the banner for this guy? Shingo really that strong? No. Yep. He seemed pretty euphoric after winning the duel, too. He was celebrating very vocally, saying something like, What a duel. I haven't felt this good in a long time. <laughs> okay. He is actually possessed. Someone took over his body. <laughs> Any other details to share? We've heard that Shingo has been behaving rather out of character since then. Right. I'd definitely say that he has more energy than he used to. Okay. In the past, he never used to do much except lie around sunbathing all day. But just yesterday, for example, I saw him cutting down trees for the village head. In the space of one afternoon, he did what most people couldn't finish in three days. Odd. Not only that, but he managed to fell a lavender melon tree with just one kick. He what? Oh. No. Dot, I, I also say no. Hmm, quite impressive. Very impressive, even. Things got weird after that, though. The village head brought out some tofu for him, and he just flipped out. He shouted, 
What is that stuff? Keep that away from me. And then ran off. Oh my god, it's it's allergic to tofu, just like Oni are allergic to beans. Lady Gucci, esteemed exorcists. Finally, I found you. Hello. I found my brother. He's at the waterfall, and I've got the salt you asked for too. Come on, let's go. Oh, as much as I'd prefer to stay and hear some more delicious details. <laughs> I suppose we'd better be going now that he's been found. Sure. Delicious details is such a... <laughs> the terminology is just... It's not it. I like how it says, quote-unquote, exercise Kato Shingo. Ooh, I need this. I'm sorry, I'm very distracted. I need this for an achievement, I think. The is over. What? Yai? Yai is actually underpowered. Yai drowns in a puddle of two centimeters of water. Ugh. <laughs> I told you, it's the last achievement I need. That's really, really big. I don't even have to claim the chest, actually, because that brings me to 100% on this Inazuma one, which I was actually pissed off that I didn't have 100 for. Wow, and it actually led me to this look, guy as well. Look over there. That's him at the waterfall. Oh, I was going to shoot him. <laughs> so this is Yohei's brother. Uh-huh. He's meditating while sitting in a waterfall. That's pretty wild. It seems so awful. We don't hear it now, but to hear like... <laughs> <laughs> All the time. Hey, listen. He's talking to himself. What is he saying? No, he's speaking Hilatro. <laughs> That's not speaking. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> can you feel it? Weirdo. Uh, <laughs> can you feel <laughs> the what? feeling of manliness? <laughs> what an absolute freakazoid. Found your own school. Ha! So shallow. How can a manly man <laughs> aspire to something <laughs> so uh, lame? Okay. Uh, please spare me. Spare me. I I can't feel the manliness. <laughs> I can't even feel the cold anymore. What is going on? The sexist ghost has taken over this guy's body or some a Chad ghost. I I can't take any more. I'm gonna die. What the fuck? Yohei. Yohei. Save me. Save me. You're sitting very quietly for someone that's screaming, save me. Did you hear that? No. Well, the nonsense aside, he's going for help. Look at that scenic chest, though. Mm -mm. Huh? Who? Who goes there? It is I, Honorary Knight of Mondstadt. He stood up, and now he's coming this way. Beat him up, beat him up, no, beat him up, beat him up. Don't come any closer. Help. Oh. Paralyze him. Throw salt. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> Yohei, your brother's life is hanging in the balance, and he's using his final breaths to call on you for help. Oh my god. Whatever shall we do? Yai! Uh, I... well, how should I know? We'll help him. The way it looks to me is that Shingo feels terribly resentful to you about something. Would you mind telling me what that's all about? Oh? I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't know. Wow, you guys just got this whole thing figured out already. Do you think this guy made the wish? You don't know, but surely you should have more insight than anyone else into how your brother came to be this way. Uh-huh. Yohei, I suggest you think very carefully before you open your mouth again. Uh-huh. This is a life or death situation. For you, by the way, not for your brother. Oh, his eyes. Uh, um. No. Uh, uh, um, your brother is your closest relative. You must have noticed straight away when he started acting out of character. Literally out of character. Look at his model. I don't know, that was, that was an attempt at a joke. And yet, five whole days pass before it occurs to you to come and seek help from me. <gasps> you really expect me not to notice the gaping holes in your story? Yes. But, uh, I... No buts. He opened his mouth without thinking. Slay him. As you wish. It's fine by me if you don't want to tell the truth. I guess your brother will just die then. But after Shingo dies, you'll be next. There you have it. It's futile trying to escape. Anywhere in the world you run to, it will be right behind your back. After all, you did summon it together. Oh, they summoned the demon! Is, is it the demon that's granting wishes? I feel like the wishes has to tie into something at, the, at one point, no? <laughs> no! Alright, I'll talk, I'll talk, I'll tell you everything. Okay. My brother and I used a wishing incantation. We made a wish. So it is like that, and you do summon a demon. It's like the Shenha story. You made a wish? From a first-hand guide to summoning spirits? Yes, yes, that's it. Well. The one that's all the rage right now. Mm -hmm. You just have to recite an incantation at midnight and your wish will be granted. Wow, that's super sus. 
Just like the book described, we drew the magic symbol, <laughs> stepped inside it barefoot at midnight, oh my said God. the incantation, and lo and behold, spheres of light appeared all around us. Wow, crazy to think that wouldn't do anything bad. After my brother wished to become a sword master, it really worked. Out of nowhere, he suddenly had these amazing sword skills, but his whole personality changed too. The same question. Why do you wait till now to get him some help? Because I was worried that if he goes Ew. back to normal, he'll lose his skills with the sword. Ew. If that happens, it'd ruin our plans to start a martial arts school, and we'd be back to being poor. I just wanted to keep this under wraps until we'd managed to get the dojo set up and paid off our debts. Because you think if he would lose his martial arts skills later, and you're supposed to teach martial arts that you'd get money in the long term? Oh my god, this guy is actually so stupid. So then, why'd you go to the Grand Narukami Shrine? Yeah, actually. Because with the way he's acting now, I was worried that rumors might start spreading that he's gotten involved in the occult arts or something. And then no one would want to sign up as his disciple. <laughs> it's actually just selfish reasons. This guy's awful. So I was thinking that maybe Lady Guji might have a way to get my brother back to normal, but let him keep his sword skills? That's disgusting. My, look at you with your ingenious schemes. Stop deluding yourself. These newfound sword skills are not his. They belong to the spirit that has possessed him. Right. You're right. You're right. We were wrong to do what we did. We had this coming. What a weird condescending tone he has. Also, does every time a spirit takes control of the body, it just happens to be like, oh, you've been possessed by a rich spirit, and now your bed is full with Mora. What is... What is that? What is that? All right then. Your turn now, my little friend. Toss the salt and then draw your sword. What's the salt for? What is it? Haha! -ha. Salted. He's dead. He just <laughs> he just died. No sword was needed. What is that? Salt. Hey, look, it's a Kairagi. <laughs> It's the spirit! <laughs> Lee Mass. You think you can become a sword master, a teacher? Being scared of the spirit like this? Look at him jiggling. You're worse than Jiggly Child. See that? Mm -hmm. That's what you summoned. Mm -hmm. And look, now that Shingo's no use, it's coming straight for you. Kill him. <laughs> He's gone. Save me! He's dead. Save me! GG. Uh, Miko! He fainted! What do we do now? Well, the spirit's just gonna disappear because it has no one to take control of. We do nothing. Yeah. But you, little one, oh. just a quick fight and this will all be over. Tell me you mean Paimon by little one, because I'm not that little. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? Ah, a fellow swordmaster. You sound way too young to wear this old man mask, Arakawa Kuji. Come on, fight me! Sure. He's coming! Be careful! I'm, I'm, I don't think we have to be careful. I can let I can twirl around right this idiot. Emerge, right here. Oh, sleeping Hillatrol, that's what it is. Yes. Or... I'm dead Hillitrol maybe. I don't even have to do anything, man. I just press E and I'm, w I'm waiting. That's it. This is interactive gameplay. Slice them! They're dead. They're both dead. He sliced them. We can do a burst, though. Oh, I got tails. Bum. Bum. And we're healing. Oh, shit. That's a spoiler. Yo, my video where I build Yai is coming up soon. Don't worry about it. Right now. She's a healer. <laughs> <laughs> That was great! Excellent! Whoop! What a rush! I haven't felt this great in a long, long time. You said it before. Oh, and the spirit's gone. He disappeared! Yeah. But he looked pretty content at the end there. Huh. Well, Paimon sure is confused. Do you know what that was all about? I have a rough idea. Ah, uh -uh. we can talk about it later. They're about to wake up. <coughs> uh, what am I doing here? Lazy ass. Yohei? Yohei, is that you? No. Shingo, are you alright? Are you? Yohei, I had the weirdest dream. Now that was reality. I dreamed that I wasn't a useless loser with a sword anymore. I even beat one of Dolmon's disciples. <laughs> I thought we could finally open a dojo of our own now. But then I realized I couldn't control my own body. And there was this voice in my ear talking to me constantly. What is he doing with his hand? <laughs> I was terrified, and I wanted to take control of my body back, but I couldn't. And the voice kept talking about manliness. Jingo, we shouldn't have made that wish. We summoned a spirit, and it possessed you. Crazy. Yes, and had we not come to your rescue, your life would have been over before too much longer. Then the spirit would have haunted your brother until he died of fatigue, too. You are forever indebted to me. Now, go prune my Sakura tree. <laughs> Thank you, Lady Guji. 
And thank you for your assistance, exorcism experts. You're an idiot, man. How is it not clear that we're not exorcism experts? All right, take him to get some rest. He's very weak right now, having been possessed for quite a few days. Mm -hmm. He will experience a high fever, but it won't be fatal. Remember, this is the price you pay. It's true. At this point, I would normally lecture you on the dire consequences of using occult methods to obtain power that does not belong to you. Uh huh. But I think you get the picture now. Don't you? I'd sure hope they do. Okay, so the rest of this quest has to be us figuring out who wrote the book and with what purpose, right? Yes, we understand now. We won't do it ever again. You better not. Thank you, Lady Guji. Thank you, Exorcist. Okay, get out of here. We'll be on our way. Yeah, then. Come hurry on, up. Come on, Shingo. Chop, chop. Run out of here. Run. Where are you walking? Quaker. Nico, would they really have lost their lives if we hadn't gotten involved? Honestly, probably not, and then it was just to scare them so that they'd never do it again. And if so, why the heck were you so reluctant to help out? Deserved. Ugh, they would have been fine. Yeah, there you have it. I had to scare them a little, though. Otherwise, I hardly think these two lazy rascals would have learned their lesson. So, what was it that possessed Shingo? The spirit of an old warrior, what else? You saw it all for yourselves. Yeah. I'm sure you can figure out what kind of spirit had possessed him. A Kairagi, you? a master of the sword, lost his strength and passion, but doesn't like tofu. Ah! Paimon's got it! It was an oni. An oni? I thought oni was beans. Correct. Oh. Although it possessed Chingo, it didn't, didn't have any ill mention intentions. It. As a matter of fact, it actually seemed like it was trying to train Chingo to become bolder. Right. Huh, fair enough. But it seems like it had the opposite effect. Right. Tossing salt caused it to temporarily leave Shingo's body. Salt's OP. Then you exhausted its strength by fighting it, so it disappeared. I'm always safe, because I'm always so salty. It's nice. Never to fear a spirit. They couldn't even enter my body how salty I am. Even if we'd done nothing at all, Shingo would have eventually become too weak for his body to host the spirit, and it would have left of its own accord. Of course, it would have been more stressful for Shingo and Yohei that way. <laughs> <laughs> Still, the experience may ultimately have been more effective than me scaring them into submission with a little exaggeration. Right. Whew, well, the main thing is that nobody got hurt. Yet. All right. That pretty like dead. We've wrapped up everything here. Come on, off we go. Where to? All of that, Miko. As if you have other things to you do. You say everything's wrapped up, but are you sure about that? John Cena? Hmm? You mean you disagree? Well, that book is still there. The incantation they used. The book. A first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Oh, you mean that they got the incantation from that book? Uh-huh. Yes, I know the one. Well, let's get rid of it or something. I don't know. Maybe it's not our business. I don't know. I'm fine with the quest ending here. Actually, that book's the whole reason we came looking for you at the shrine today. Right. Incantations seem really popular right now. Everyone's talking about it. It's all the rage with the youth. It's bigger than hand spinners. Human beings don't have powers like us yokai. It's quite understandable for them to be interested in incantations to summon the supernatural. Like us yokai? I'm a yokai? That's not the point. The problem is that the incantations in the book are actually capable of summoning spirits and stuff. And loads of people are trying it. You know, doesn't happen often, but I agree with Paimon on this one. We got to get rid of this book. <sighs> Even then, humans only have so much strength. Even if they do successfully summon a spirit with the incantation, mm -hmm. it won't stay with them for very long. Right. I really wouldn't fret about it. I kind of agree. I want to be lazy too, but it's against our MC nature. That chest be looking so scenic right now. I'm happy we got it. <laughs> but who wrote this book? See? And why? Yeah. Don't we think there might be a bigger safety risk here? What do you think, Traveler? It does worry me a bit. If Miko says it's fine, we probably don't need to worry. I'm more curious about Miko's reaction. It doesn't worry me, but I'm intrigued. I'm curious about your reaction. Right. Big events in the light novel market should be at the center of her attention, surely. But she doesn't seem to care about this book at all. So is it my first prediction? She wrote it? <gasps> Lady Yara, Kuroda. I finally found you. Hey, he's from the publishing house. Kuroda, what are you doing here? Why are... How did he even... Okay, how did he even know we were here? This is the most random spot in Tavat, under a waterfall. How? I'm here to report on Yai Publishing House's sales for the last month. What? All the numbers are here. Please, take a look. Why would you go looking for Yai here? Just for numbers? This is ridiculous. This is not normal. <laughs> Let me see. What 
We're losing market share? Oh, and now the book's gonna be interesting. Yes, can you believe it? All the rage is about this incantation book. Yes, overall bestseller, reader's favorite, and trending ranking. We're being beaten in all See categories. I was like, yeah, I told you. Honestly, the other book, she's now gonna start caring about it because now she, her more is in danger and everyone loves everyone loves more, all right? Ahem. <clears throat> You're still watching? <laughs> oh. Hi. One book is topping the charts. It's called A First Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits. Whoa. Both of you, back here now. <laughs> hey, different tone right now or I'm not coming. Nico? What is it? What a really scary look on your face right At now. At least say please. Oh, whatever. <sighs> Things just got serious. A First Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits is an all-round hit. <laughs> summarily beating the novels of the Yai publishing house by every analysis. Oh, shocking. Well, none of my business. Bye-bye. What's in it for me, Yai? Why would I go solving your problems? Well, I get to be Yaina. It's so nice. Define serious. Just what is that supposed to mean? Mm hmm I worked extremely hard to promote our latest featured mm -hmm. work. And now a rival book comes out of nowhere and steals our thunder. Oh, no. If this isn't the very definition of intolerable, I don't know what is. Don't know either. Maybe go get a dictionary at your publishing house. I have to come up with a counter plan. And you are going to help me. What's in it for me, Yai? Literally what I'm saying. Oh, whoops. Oh, 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 what a shame. Resin's capped. Yeah, I gotta go farm artifacts. Bye-bye. Paimon, please. Who wrote this book and why? Don't we think there might be a bigger safety risk here? Oh, and now it worries you. Oh, am I to take it that the safety of the people of Inazuma isn't so important in your yeah, eyes the after worst. all? Actually the worst person in the game. Wait, what, uh, what just happened? No, she doesn't have a point. Again, you technically Paimon, have a point you're so... with this? You're so naive, man. Ah, ah resin's full. Nothing's wrong, okay? Come on, we're going to war. <laughs> Nothing's going wrong, to we're going to war. Oh, my god. Meet me outside the Yai publishing house. Can we talk about the scenic chest and how it's literally been put into value? I'm not just memeing around. When I say a chest is scenic, I'm dead serious. Look at this. You cannot tell me that didn't add anything. Friendship in writing, a go to the publishing house. Hey, it's us. Alright, Nico. We're here. So what's your plan of action to deal with this rival book? Yeah, what is it? Hmm. Why don't you take a guess? Because it's your problem and I don't give a f- <laughs> I'll give you a hint. It's to do with the Yai Publishing House. Mm -hmm. Oh, Paimon knows! Bind the reputation of the Yai Publishing House with the status of Guji Yai and tell everyone that the incantations in that book are dangerous! Wow. Oh, wow. Your first guess and you got it absolutely... Wrong. Wrong. Yeah, who would have thought? Crazy. Why are we pissed at Paimon? Yeah! Oh, uh, wait! What? That was awkward. That, what that was was awkward. A first-hand guide to summoning spirits is the hottest light novel right now. If we did as you suggested, we would effectively be advertising to everyone that the incantations are real. So we're gonna make a fake incantation rival book. We can't make a thing that would counter incantations because that would also say that they're real. In bending over backwards trying to warn everyone about the dangers, all we would accomplish is to create more curious readers ready to try them out. Also, sales for the book would only increase further. We understood that. Okay, yeah, that would be pretty catastrophic. Oh, how about we confiscate all the copies? That would also create hype around it. <sighs> Leaving aside the issue of the enormous manpower and resources such an operation would require, Going to such lengths over a light novel would be extremely disruptive to the lives of Inazumans. Inazumans? Wow, almost Inahumans. That means there's nothing we can do. It's over, GG. Well, I've been thinking. I've read a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. It has many other good qualities besides the incantations alone. Well, that one writer wouldn't say so. The book contains many ancient kaiden, or okay. tales of the supernatural, mm -hmm. and is written in a very engaging way. Right. That is why the book has become so popular. Okay. Hmm. I think we're going to have a difficult time trying to rein in its popularity while it's the only work in its league on the market. There you have it. We're going to make a rival. Wait, so you mean... That's right. How do you get rid of the next big thing? Uh-huh. You replace it with the next, next big thing. So we're selling 
pan spinners. So what we're going to do is create Inazuma's newest hit novel. Isn't that your goal every book anyway? Smash our rival's sales numbers and win our readers back. That is how Yaimiko wages war. Incidentally, this will also be the best way to combat the influence of a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. If you say so. So you want us to write a novel? Can I really do that? I've never written a novel before. <laughs> Well, becoming an accomplished novelist certainly isn't an overnight process, but let's not forget that I am the chief editor of the Yai Publishing House. I have my ways. I believe you. I did say this is what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. I trust that the word teamwork is in your vocabulary. Anyway, there is a writer submission event going on at the moment. Mm -hmm. Start by talking to readers and finding out what they're into. Sure. When you have an idea of what the current trends are, come back and see me. I don't have to. Incantations. I'll be at Uyu Restaurant. Oh my god. Find me there when you're done. Uyu Restaurant? We'll assemble a team and we Even can my... while we eat. Ant makes better food. What does the guy say again? Who you restaurant? That place isn't even worth mentioning. That's what he says. So Yai mentions teamwork and then says, I'm gonna go eat some food at a restaurant. You go ask people what's up. <laughs> hey, Kyota. I've been reading light novels for a long time now. Uh-huh. I'm mainly into big ambitious fantasy works mm -hmm. with an original core concept and good storytelling. Genshin Impact. It's not a light novel. It's a pretty thick novel, I'll be honest. These days, though, everyone seems to be imitating each other. Yeah. Most of the time, I can guess what the story is about just from the title. Of course. The only recent book worth mentioning okay, is not only I don't want to hear it. A good story, but the descriptions are really true to life. Uh -huh. So much so that I'm almost wondering if maybe the author really has met all those yokai before. That's crazy, crazy story. So everyone's just gonna mention that they love the book that everyone's reading. The key to a successful light novel is when to use illustrations, what they should. Okay, good having good illustrations. Can Thank there's you. There's a saying that light novel, the illustrations yeah. in. The oh yeah, first-hand summoning experience, the great illustrations. I'll be honest. I read light novels for the cheap thrills. Oh, you'd like see his music. <laughs> I'm not taking it very seriously. In most traditional stories, you have the a lot to say. usually has this long and drawn out character arc. Yeah, this is like Genshin Impact. Involving a process of separation, yeah. loss, and yeah. ultimately growth and renewed strength. Genshin Impact. It reads well and everything. It's just a little slow paced for me. Genshin Impact. By contrast, there's this popular light novel Stop the with the summoning! The protagonist is a kitsune who has not only mastered the secret art of incantations, but also tea ceremony, Oh yeah, because that's not slow paced. I haven't talked to this girl though. Let's go tell our findings to Yai Miko! Sure. Yo! Hey there! Hi. I like that you say yo. I respect that. Egg rolls. Yo, give me some egg rolls right here. Better look at these egg rolls. Oh my god, wonderful. I got some everything. Alright, let's go in. Knock, knock. We're going in Uyu Restaurant, the place that's not even worth mentioning. I'm so excited. Most exciting thing so far. Ah, huh, there you are. Hi. Let me introduce the team. Oh, not these two boys. They did an incantation. You've already met Junkichi and Shigeru. Many times. Shigeru is an experienced editor, and uh -huh. Junkichi is the author he's partnered with. Uh -huh. Junkichi's working through a creative lull at the moment. We know. But all his past works have been very popular with young people. Right. He's developed a distinct and enduringly popular style. Amazing. Satomi is Yai Publishing House's ace in the hole. Nice. Her specialty is that she can write all kinds of completely different stories Cute. and all under different pen names. Ooh. As for what those names are, well, <laughs> that's a trade secret. Okay, well we know. It's the it's the the, the Goro the Goro girl. <laughs> I forgot the name. They will be teaming up with us to collectively create the novel that knocks a first hand guide to summoning spirits off its perch. Okay. So, feeling better about my plan now? I don't care. I still don't care. And I won't care. Uh-huh. It definitely makes sense. <laughs> I only care if I'm allowed to bring some of these chocolate-looking shoes home. Now then, tell me what you found out about readers' preferences. They like the other book. <laughs> Can I have some of these dungo balls? You tell Yamiko the reader's thoughts. Hmm. All mm. very true. An original core concept, uh -huh. a fast pace, yeah. quality illustrations, mm -hmm. and lots of action. Right. This is the formula that will guarantee good sales numbers. Isn't this the oldest formula in the history of books? More importantly than that, even though it's a work of fiction, we have to deliver a sense of realism. Very true. Paimon followed pretty much all of that, but there's still one question. What are we actually going to write about? About Gorita. <laughs> I forgot the name. For example, we know we need an original core concept, but how do we come up with one? What kind of question is that? <laughs> Before you can answer that question, you have to understand your target audience. Broke people that want money <laughs> and that have wishes. 
Take a first-hand guide to summoning spirits, I'm for so example. I'm so exhausted hearing that name. When I read it, all I find is common knowledge to the Kitsune. Uh -huh. But to the general public, it's bursting with new and interesting ideas. Okay. It all comes down to the size of the information gap between author and reader. So we need in-depth lore about something. As a traveler, there must be a great many things you know that are complete unknowns to the people of Inazuma. What is commonplace to you... Maybe fresh and original to them. Let's write about Conria. Oh, right! So maybe we can take inspiration from our time in Monsta and Lilith! Oh, wow, that's so exciting. That would make it a completely different genre than a first hand guide to summoning spirits. Can we just call uh, it. Is that Afks? gonna be a problem? Afks? No, it's not a problem. Not at all. You don't have to worry so much about how to compete with that book. All you have to do is provide some interesting ideas based on your travel experiences. I have to get a share of the sales then. As long as the core content is interesting, my expert team here will be able to flesh out the details. And who's this lady? Who are you, restaurant? Alright, let's start with chapter Oh one, my then. god. Uh, what are you thinking? Oh my god. Well, this is obviously way too long and boring. This doesn't sound interesting enough, and this sounds epic. The dragon and the grand adventure. This sounds like a great one! Of course. Black Let's screen. Here. The protagonist arrives in Mondstadt for the first Is this time another lore recap? Of a dragon flying around and wreaking We've had this before! With the, with the Tanuki event, stop with the lore recaps! With the help of some trusty companions, the protagonist successfully defeats the dragon. Then... <laughs> The dragon suddenly <laughs> turns into a beautiful young woman! <laughs> uh, huh? Nice! Human, let us work together to build a better future. The yes! The love story between human and dragon begins today? <laughs> well, you know what? That doesn't even sound that bad. Let's get with it. Well, that was an unexpected what is, development. What, what is that face? What happened to the grand adventure? The grand adventure is just a protagonist's name. What is this? Tongue sticking out. This is the weirdest face I've ever seen. What? But that's so misleading. Yeah, well, that's how you sell things. That's like people with the clickbait. I don't think I'm that clickbait. I'm not that clickbait, right? My titles are actually genuine. I type blue door in all caps and it's a blue door. Hmm. Out of a maximum of 10 points, I'd give that a 9. No, that's not bad. The story certainly goes in an unorthodox direction, and the dragon girl sounds destined to be a hit character. Approved. Approved. What the hell? Okay, it's done. Hmm, good job, little one. You're not only drawing on your own experiences, but it seems you're filtering them through the lens of the kinds of light novels you've read in the past. I did all that. I think you really <laughs> understand what we're trying to do here. Yeah, I, I wrote it, by the way. These people didn't do anything. They're just there. They're spectating. They're third wheeling. They're fourth, fifth, and sixth wheeling. Actually, this guy didn't even deserve to be rendered in the screen. Thoughts from the experts? Are we able to work with this general framework to make an interesting story? Yes. Yeah, we think it works. I tend to overcomplicate the core concept if I'm not careful, so care. this deals with that problem. Okay. <laughs> That's good. That's amazing. Is Uyu Restaurant okay, worth mentioning? That's the main one. question I have. Let's move on to chapter two. How about let's have a food break? Look at the food right there. It looks so good. Huh? Won't that do for now? No. Readers will devour your content a lot more quickly than you'd think. Mm -hmm. If we don't keep delivering the goods now we've caught their attention, all our hard work so far is in vain. Oh no. Hurry, chapter two, let's go. Hey. Can't you see that Satomi is waiting? I couldn't see that, to be fair. This girl's not cooking at all. She's just listening in and staring. She's actually a spy. She's, she's the other author. What's wrong with you? You don't look so good. I hit an art block. Maybe we should do a ritual. I can't think of any stories. My mind's gone blank. Hmm. What a pity. I thought your beginner's luck would carry you a little further before it came to this. Maybe if I get compensation, but alas, he'll come the back. Time has come prematurely. Mm hmm. Before it See came you tomorrow. To what's happened? The demon has taken possession of me. The bane of our existence. There it is, writer's block. Writer's block. <laughs> it's your arch nemesis for life. <laughs> Appearing without warning and inflicting a pain worse than death upon the writer. Worse than they death. They sell Jeez. their souls just to get their muse back. Okay, drama queen. Sounds Mm -hmm. When this happens, the best thing you can do is have a bite to Told eat you. and take a proper break. Told you! Uh, boss, get me a plate of fried tofu and get some kushikatsu for these two. Ooh. Just the basic kind will do. Not the basic, give me the expensive one. <laughs> Don't worry, this is my treat. Wow, thank you. Compensation, finally. Let's see if it's worth mentioning. Your treat? Oh, wait a minute. Miko, we'll be getting paid for all 
all the hard work we're doing, right? You wish, Paimon. Of course. Everyone that takes part in the creative process will be paid. Yeah, we're gonna be paid in care and love. That's what she's gonna say, just so you know. Alright, cool. Then let's press on, shall we? Don't give up now. For the sake of our paycheck, get your brain going! <laughs> Jesus, calm down. Paycheck? Hmm, speaking of Mora, actually, we're gonna talk about becoming rich with the Archon of Mora and contracts. Does this mean your inspirations come back? <laughs> Rock and roll girl exclamation exclamation exclamation. I turned into a Jew Bishop hatchling or I took a trip to Liwa. Tour guide turned out to be Rex Lapis. <laughs> That's kind of nice. Uh Let's see now. The protagonist arrives in Liwa and befriends a young man who doesn't have the money to pay for anything. Uh -huh. Only later do we find out that this young man is none other than Rex Lapis himself. That sounds like something we've witnessed. I don't know. With the help of the Chishing and the protection of the Adepti, I am free to roam this vast realm. Is this the kind of cheap thrill that that guy was talking about? That guy. Hmm, I give it 9. a 9.8. Yo, we're gonna get a 10 eventually. The story is fun and action-packed with no dark action undertones. Packed. Also, there are a great many legends about Rex Lapis. I'm sure it will spark the people's I'm sorry, curiosity. but what's the action in what I just said? We go tour guide in Liwa and it's it's the Archon. That's it? That's action-packed? Damn. I, for one, think there's a sizable market for this. Approved. Great. Alright, well, let's just hope Zhang Li doesn't mind. What? What? Great. Well, now Satomi can Did we get just mention that? that? Just like that? Did they even know? Paimon just revealing... Wait, did the other Archons know? Venti knows. Does he know? Does Egg know? Does Yai know? Why did she say that out loud? Leave it to me, Lady Yai. Good luck, Queen. Let's write about Inazuma in the third chapter, shall oh, we? Oh, no. I can help with this one. Okay. We can use the Vision Hunt Decree or your experience in the Resistance. Any ideas? Starting as a Resistance Soldier. That sounds kind of nice. The other ones? Nah, nah. Starting as a Resistance Soldier. When the Vision Hunt Decree comes out of nowhere, the protagonist joins the Resistance. Starting out as an ordinary rank and file soldier. Eventually becoming the chief of Swordfish 2. Wow. Find out how the protagonist goes on to make great contributions to the war effort, become best friends with the resistance general, and get to know the Guji of the Grand Narukami Shrine. Working together with everyone to finally secure a grand victory for the resistance. Ooh. Huh. It's surprisingly normal. Yeah, for us, but not for the people that... that this is exactly what Yai talked about. We know all this because we witnessed it. I think it's rather good. A lot of people still like the classic hero's journey. Sure. From ordinary soldier to great leader. A fresh take on a timeless classic. A timeless classic. Lovely. One thing, though. <laughs> We'll need to rewrite the part about me giving you the omamori. I never mentioned that, but you write, so I don't care. Let's change it to... The mysterious Lady Kitsune teaches <laughs> the protagonist a spell that can make their wishes come true. Uh -huh. The protagonist uses this spell to defeat the Raiden Shogun in battle. Uh huh. That should do the trick. And now everyone's gonna come to the shrine. We're really going head to head with our rival on this one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> The I clash. suppose so. Once they're done writing the manuscript, I'll write the passage where the protagonist recites the incantation myself. It's gonna be like, oh, you have to go to the Grand Narukami Shrine and get one of your daily sticks of luck and see if you have good or bad fortune. This will cost you 5,000 mora, which is more expensive than chop suey, which is cheap and it's tasty. Are we done then? Do you really think this will be able to beat a first-hand guide to summoning spirits? Yeah, it's got three interesting chapters. The content is fine. Now we just need to promote it. Time to go hang up posters. I will contact an artist to make some illustrations. Mm -hmm. I'm positive they will be at least as good as those in a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Sure. We'll also need an endorsement Ms. on Hina. a paper band around the book. I can get the wonderful Ms. Hina to write that. Figured. She That's runs her a regular Q&A column in That's Life magazine. Trust me. The people of Inazuma absolutely adore her. I know everything about Gorita. You're free to take a break while the creative team is doing their work, but please go by the Yai Publishing House at some point to commission Ms. Hina for that recommendation. Once our light novel is complete, 
Let's meet at the writer's submission event. Sure. Oh, I get to walk around in here. Let's go. Exploring. Hmm, no chest. Sad. Owner of Uyu Restaurant. Youngster, are you hungry already? Come and try some of Erica's cooking. I've been told that you're not even worth mentioning. Hmm, who told you that? I can't drink alcohol because I'm too young. I'm 500 plus years old. How are you nerds don't doing? Don't worry. I don't care. Oh, they never got to do it because he was stupid. Okay, that's why they're fine. Because he just, he literally has no brain. Yai. Hmm, let me think. What spell does Lady Kitsune teach to the protagonist? I don't know. I've got to make sure it sounds suitably mysterious. Just like Yai's entire personality. Hello, any chance Gorita is here? You tell Kuroda about the situation. Miss Hina doesn't usually do endorsements, but since it's Lady Guji that's asking, We'll see what we can do. Gorita. With Miss Hina getting so popular lately, a lot of people have come to us hoping to do a collaboration. Why haven't you just jumped onto that opportunity instead of letting some summoning ritual book take the, the cake instead? <laughs> you know what? Taking the cake wasn't even a reference to the Goro hangout. But Miss Hina's not interested in any of it. She still prefers to focus all her efforts on replying to readers' letters and turns down every promotional opportunity she can. I know. Maybe that's why her fans like her so much. I, I'm getting off topic here. Anyway, if we can get that endorsement from Miss Hina, you'll definitely get an exposure boost at the beginning. Right. May your light novel sell well and set a new record for the Yai Publishing House. Wonderful. I hope so too, Kurada. Right That's all we have to do. How do we promote it further? Go submit the manuscript. Right here. Right now. Right here. Right now. Hi. Yai Miko brings the completed light novel already. Are you it's sure you'd like time. to submit this entry? Yeah. Let me see. The Miraculous Adventures of the Traveler by... Thousand hands. Thousand hands. What a strange pen name. Definitely your doing. Having been around you so much recently, Paimon's slowly starting to understand your unique tastes. Your weird tastes is what she's saying. Your weird is what Paimon's saying. If you want to strike her with thunder, feel honestly, I don't really care. I don't really mind. Feel free. What do you mean, strange? Mm -hmm. It took a lot of work by a lot of different people to get this thing finished. Mm -hmm. Don't you think it's a very descriptive pen name? I figured that was it. We'll get this printed as a matter of priority and conduct trial sales in pilot locations throughout Inazuma. Amazing. I'll announce the sales numbers in three days. Three days, you say? Uh-oh. Paimon's getting a little nervous now. Do you really think this is gonna work? Of course. We had a top-notch team. We're all professionals. That's right. Be confident in your work. That's exactly how a light novelist should be. I am. Okay, then I'll sign you up. Please come back in three days for the results. Deal? Thank you all for your submission. I wish you the very best of luck. Thank you, that's very kind. Wait for three days? That's a meme. That's actually a meme. There's no way they actually want me to do this. I, I can wait for two days now. Oh my god, this is content. Hoyoverse? I'm not allowed to call you Mihoyo anymore. Thank you. This is wonderful. Are you gonna do another spin? Oh, this is my favorite content. Anyway, I wonder if the skipping two days is only during this quest or if it stays after. I don't know why you'd ever use it, but there it is. Three days. Back at 2 a.m. again. Ah, you've all finally made it. What do you mean, finally? You told me to come back in three days. I stood there. I didn't even move all those three days. Good news, everyone. I just received word that your light novel is flying off the shelves. No way. Multiple sales locations are asking when we'll be printing more copies. Right now. Get it started. Right here. Right now. <laughs> Three days of waiting. This level of success is an amazing accomplishment for a new work. Uh-huh. Most new books don't sell 30% of what? what you've sold. We have more than three times the sales? That's ridiculous. <laughs> I have free copies for each of you here. Nice. Please take them. The payment will follow shortly, and I'll notify you to come and collect it when the time comes. This is all great, but... Oh, yeah! The whole reason why we made this light novel was to combat the influence of a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. That would have died down either way. Making this book was pointless. But we have a we have a hit sale anyway, so it's good. We sold a lot of copies, but it doesn't feel like we accomplished our goal. How do we know whether it worked? I don't know. <laughs> oh, don't worry. The change is already underway. Shh. Listen to what the people around us are talking about. Okay. The conversation has already moved on, hasn't it? So it is literally a dead hype, that's what I said. Hey guys, have you heard about this latest Kaidan thing doing the rounds? You just need to recite the incantation from a first-hand guide to summoning spirits at midnight, <laughs> and your wish will come true! <laughs> oh, that? That's a throwback. Oh, that's wait. News, man. That, I thought it'd be funny if, if, if actually everyone still talked about the wish. <laughs> man, you, you killed my vibe, Kyoto. Come on. That's old news, bro. No one's talking about that anymore. The secret spells of Lady Kitsune is the new hit thing. 
I've already memorized all the incantations. <laughs> You're such nerds. The secret spells of Lady Kitsune? What's that? The new hit book you have to buy. You haven't read it yet? Okay, so supposedly, if you recite the spell in there on a moonless night, you'll receive protection of the Kitsune and all the other powerful yokai. They can make any of your wishes come true. <laughs> in a moonless night? That doesn't ever happen. That's so smart. I heard that the incantations in a first-hand guide to summoning spirits have weird side effects. This one guy wished oh. for a load of Mora and got it, but then one night it all turned to leaves and he developed a high fever. Crazy. They actually had to use one of the secret spells of Lady Kitsune to get rid of the discomfort. <laughs> so cheap. That proves that the incantations in this book are more potent than the ones everyone was trying before. What logic? Pretty much everyone I know is desperate to try it out. Wow. Just waiting for a moonless night. So never. On the other hand, it is more or less the Kitsune's duty to protect everyone in the first place, isn't it? So I feel like it's it's kind of like rhetorical. I don't know if that's the right word to use, but you get what I'm saying, right? As in, no matter what, you'd be protected by the Kitsune. So saying you have to do something to get the protection and it's supposedly working is straightforward. I don't know. I'm wording it poorly. Really? Well, I better go and prepare too. Yeah, go buy a book. Actually, you can have my copy. Here you go. Well, feeling less worried now? Look at how happy the little foxes are. I'm just as happy as they are. You're right! Everyone's shifting focus! Uh-huh. But what's this moonless night that they're talking about? Yeah, I mean, no moon in the sky? Hyman doesn't remember that detail from the brainstorming session. <laughs> this is something that will become very important to us further down the line. More? All right. It's time to move on to the next phase of the plan. What, are we gonna hide the moon? Eh? There's a phase two? I wish it was over. Of course. Behind every book that hits the market lies an author, right? Yeah, Gorita. Oh yeah. If we leave him to his own devices, he might just write another guide to summoning spirits. Right. <laughs> also, we still need to figure out what his motive for writing it was. Okay, I am so interested in that actually, never mind. Exactly. That's what we need to take care of next. Oh? Fortunately, I've already managed to identify the author. Great. He's a failed light novelist named Tomoyuki. Well, failed is debatable. But when we went to ask him about it, he had no recollection whatsoever of having written the book. So he, he made the wish that his book would be a hit book and some spirit writer took control of him. Yes, this is another case of possession. <sighs> Only this time, whoever possessed him actively sought him out. Okay, that's... It. Odd. After his novel submission failed, he was walking aimlessly in Araumi. Okay. In frustration, he shouted out, Please, someone, anyone, help me write a truly amazing novel. <laughs> After that, he lost consciousness. Wow. But the spirit that wrote the book has already left him now, right? So what are we supposed to do? We go to Araumi and we say, We want to write an amazing novel, please. Simple. It wrote a summoning incantation in the book, didn't it? So we can just use its own method to make it manifest itself. Great. And you, my little friend, are the perfect candidate for this role. <laughs> this sounds so dubious. Is it too late for me to back out? Oh, what are you talking about? The fun's just about to begin. For you, a The Miraculous Adventures Friendship in Writing complete. Next one up is... I guess we don't get to see the new quest. Centuries Long Dream. A domain? Yai? A domain in this quest? Nico, what is this place? The ideal spot for a little meet and greet with a certain elusive author. Okay. This is the place where we are most likely to succeed in summoning the spirit. Really? But it feels so... Eerie here. That's the whole point. <laughs> that seems rather fitting, considering that we are dealing with the spirits of the deceased here. Yeah. What are you so afraid of, honestly? We're finally about to meet the true author of a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Aren't you excited? It's about to be a goblin. Paimon's heart is pounding, but Paimon's pretty sure it's not because of excitement. <laughs> Come on. Come on. In, In we, we go. go. No, I want to. You don't want to. What's go with her quick? Why are we? Literally, Yai Miko is going in, and we're sitting here waiting. She would be the one reason we'd be safe. Let's go. Okay, I see the eerie vibes. What a weird painting. Oh. Miko, do you know what it's supposed to show? Bro, this looks like the plan of youth. Thymia? I keep forgetting how it's pronounced. I e i. Probably a scene from ancient Inazuma. Right. It's a good piece of artwork and all, but it's also. Kinda eerie. This slow zoom. So it's a bit scary. Jump scare when? E! Look at that behind Paimon. It, it like pixelates her dash away. Hmm. 
Looks like the artist signed their name. Rakusai. Rakusai? It's not very clear. Well, let's summon them. Let's go inside and take a look. Sure. Are we gonna have to fight something here? Screw your boxes. Why are you guys here? Oh, it's a trial yai. This is no healer yai. This is a damage yai. Who, who builds damage yai? That doesn't exist. Imagine building this healing character with damage. That makes no sense. I don't get to have two yais. Ow. That hurt. See, and now I can heal, but I can't because my healer yai is benched. Got him. Yeah. A mirror. Wow, it actually works. This setup is quite handy. Saves me a lot of work. All right, go and take a look around. It's another lamp. Secret right boy. Give me that. Best. And a little thing to get back down. My feet are schmackadoodling. Ah. What are you auto aiming at? Why are you auto aiming at the door? What? Show them. Wait, that's so broken. <laughs> Nerds. He actually died through the door. <laughs> Your life sucks back there. I for an I'll be back. Holy fuck, I got one shot. If only had my healer Yai, but I don't. You will wreak my curse. Oh, there. oh, epic. I forgot to use my transient resin. Wow, that is that is some Genshin pain for you right there. That is actually painful. I'm out of healing. I'm not using Dungo milk. Don't heal, 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 don't heal. Another chest. Well, that's not what I'm looking for. Thank you, but still just out here looking for a lever. Ah, here it is. Okay. We just saw oh, what the? This way along with the whole war. <laughs> and the whole thing just flipped. It lagged. I'm sorry. It's getting eerier and scarier. What is this, place? this is what scares her? Okay, next I will show you a secret kitsune spell. A real kitsune this spell? This painting is a swift summoning medium, which means I'll be able to skip many of the more tedious steps. That's great. The murky mirror reflects the view of Inazuma in a bygone age. Right. Spirits stirred by the sight of the past will be easily drawn to it. Amazing. You're up next, little one. Come on, sit yourself down here. Sure. Hold on. Are we surely you're not planning to... Yes. The whole point of a summoning ritual is for a dead person's spirit to possess a living person's body. I don't like this. You saw what happened to that Oni Samurai spirit. After leaving the host's body, he was only able to maintain his form for a very short time before disappearing. I'm getting possessed. Are you positive that summoning a spirit to possess the Traveler isn't gonna have any lasting negative consequences? Yeah, I'll be doomed forever. Oh, you really care about the little one quite a lot, don't you? I'm a little jealous. <laughs> I wish my friends were caring like that. Maybe you weren't so arrogant all the time. Okay, she actually looks kind of sad now. I feel bad. <laughs> anyway, are you scared, little friend? A little bit. Don't you worry now. It'll be over soon. Just think of it like having a dream. What do you need to do? Nothing. We just sit there. Sit on the chair, stare at the painting, and relax your body and mind. Try and be natural. There's really no need to be nervous. <laughs> okay, if you say so. Wow, what a cute class photo pose. This is when in France you get class pictures taken. This is your exact it's position. Like I love how the eyes are kind of moving painting. a little bit. I am sitting inside the painting. Huh? Is that what? Did the painting just move? I didn't click anything. It's going automatically. Recite the incantation in your heart, little one. An incantation? Also, You'll need to have some intense thoughts going through your head. Wish, for example. I'm not wishing for my brother, okay? I'm wishing for more first 10 pool 5 stars. There we go. Now, what kind of wish do we think it would take to summon forth the author of A First Hand Guide okay, to Summoning Okay, fine. Spirits? I wish to write a banger novel, Anyone? please. Probably something to do with writing? Yes. Very good. The wish needs to be heartfelt, though, so let me help add a little realism to the equation. Okay. The book is selling exceptionally well, Traveler, but we're going to need an outline for Chapter 4 as soon as humanly possible. <laughs> when is the earliest that you can turn it in by? I, I hate this term so much. As soon as humanly possible. Like, as if time was different. As soon as animal, animally possible. <laughs> I don't know, I find it so stupid. Ah, please! Someone! Anyone! Help me write the fourth chapter! The painting is moving again! What the- What the- Uh, it is I, the evil spirit of writing. <laughs> uh, wow, that's a great face, too. I'm dead. The traveler has died. Crab dance. Crab rave. Oh! Hello. I'm seeing through someone else's eyes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I never thought the day would come when I'd be summoned using my own ritual. <laughs> 
getting a taste of my own medicine. Yes, definitely not a fan of us being someone else right now. I hate this. What have we here? Another budding writer? What's come over you all? Why is everyone wishing for help with their writing? Are novels so popular in this day and age? Yes. We got you! So you're the one who wrote a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. What are you trying to do? Why'd you put that summoning incantation in the book, huh? What's your game here? I like how Paimon's MC at least for a little bit, because we don't get to say anything. Yeah, is definitely gonna make a joke like she forgot the salt or something. Huh? What's this? Oh, actually, he actually didn't write it. Oh, <laughs> I see. No wonder this felt so familiar. I've walked right into your trap, haven't I? <laughs> Why is this guy so honest about it? I'm an idiot, right? You ask me what my game is here? Well, of course. It was to use this incantation as a means for all the souls of the departed yokai to make their glorious return to the world and plunge all of Inazuma into a brutal, bloody war. Well, that's not succeeded. What? Nah, this is bullshit. Oh, did you now? Then how naive of you to let me possess this body so easily. <laughs> I sense, yes, great power within her. I hate this. Good. <laughs> what are those eyes? Good. With this power, no one shall be able to stand in my way. And she throws salt and it's all over. <laughs> <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> it is futile. You shall never wake her again. Right. This body now belongs to me. Mm -hmm. Hey, come on, wake up! Don't let him take your mind. It's done, Paimon. You're the MC now. We play as Paimon and float around the map now. Miko, think of something. Miko, Miko. It's easy. If if you throw salt, we're fine. <laughs> She's laughing. <laughs> Are we getting pranked? <laughs> of course. You're awful. This is why no one cares about you. Uh... <laughs> okay. Um, Hilarious. You're laughing? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> oh, Rakusai, you haven't changed a bit. Right. You caught on so quickly. Too perfect. Mm, yeah, I figured. Wow, the tense. <laughs> You made the face enough times that I couldn't exactly miss the hint. This is what you were going for, yes? <laughs> Never one to stand on the sidelines of a good spectacle, are you? Always got to dive in and fan the flames, ah, huh? you mischievous little kitsune, you. Wow, why is he so weirdly flirty? I don't, I don't like this at all. So now we just got some random goofy ass in our body, what the? Look what you've done to this little flying one here. Oh, poor thing scared witless. <laughs> You were having plenty of fun playing the bad guy a moment ago. Uh-huh. Now you're trying to blame it all on me? Okay, they do match well. They're both just blaming- Rakusai? Miko, you guys know each other? Clearly. Yes, we do. Of course we do. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to formally introduce the author what? of A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits, Urakusai. What is this plot twist? This is his name. Uh, no, wait. To be more accurate, it's Urakusai's memory. Okay. Memory? But isn't he a spirit? Ah, spirits. Memories. They're just different words to describe the same thing. Ah. Something that comes from the ley lines. Interesting. Ley lines. I, I, I cut this last time when I talked about ley lines, but ley lines play such a big part in this game, don't they? Like, Inazuma especially now with more lore about it, but also every time it's ley line problems. And I don't know much about it, but ley lines definitely the roots to the world or whatever. The roots to the core. Do you remember that recent incident when the Rift Hounds were gnawing at the sacred Sakura's roots? I do remember that. That's when I was talking about it, actually, and that's when I cut it. <laughs> You witnessed human memories leaking from the ley lines, didn't you? Yes. Well, since there are human memories, of course there are going to be yokai memories too. In life, yokai possess supernatural powers, and even when they are a shadow of their former selves from a bygone era, they still have the ability to control whether they are visible or not. Okay, but this doesn't explain to me why he made random idiots be possessed. Typically, yokai memories survive longer in the world than those of humans. Is he just a prankster? <laughs> indeed, indeed. I was wandering around the sacred Sakura's roots when I suddenly heard someone yelling, Please, someone, anyone, 
help me write a truly amazing novel. Wonderful. It piqued my curiosity, so I popped inside his body and wrote a novel for him. That's how it happened. But why did you include a summoning incantation in the novel? Because he's a prankster. Oh, little one. Not to toot my own horn here, but when I was alive, I wasn't just another Kitsune, no. I was a mighty and powerful <laughs> Daioko. The memories of other yokai can't possess human bodies at will like I can. I love I love the facial expression still to be honest. Oh look, this is like a this is like a metaphor. Why is Paimon in a different world, in a different realm than we are, huh? But with this incantation, they can go one last little joyride in the world for a couple of days. Anything uh. they're still itching to do, they can go and get it done. Okay. She's trying to say that all the commotion this causes is likely to be a great disturbance to the humans. Disturbance? <laughs> oh. I guess you mean that we might leave them with some broken dreams after we leave, hmm? Oh, yes. And they might have a fever or whatever. But you know, I actually think that the most admirable thing about human beings is the way that they go out and shape their fate with their own two hands, given that they're not born blessed with the same powers that we enjoy. Right. As for those who would rather draw on external power than seek to improve themselves, it's quite right that they learn their lesson eventually. That's, that is a good point. That I agree with. So when you think about it, we're actually doing the humans a big favor. Miko, you agree, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what I thought too. No, I get that. I get that, honestly. All right then, you finally convinced Paimon. You guys were right. Great, wonderful, great job. Don't think I could have ever predicted this one. What are you scared of, little one? Don't be deceived by her day-to-day -day antics. Miko is actually one of the most powerful yokai out there. I believe it. Not only that, Irakusai, but my latest work has beaten that book you wrote, A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits, to become the most popular in Inazuma. Right, that Yai wrote. Totally not based on the body you're possessing or anything. I don't know how they're going to make a cutscene in this one, though. Of if course. If they are. You were never one to make extra work for yourself where you can help it. And yet you went to all these lengths to find my painting room, and even took the trouble to summon me. <laughs> I knew you must have some ulterior motive. She was just flexing. You were always the one to pick a quarrel with me when we all used to gather around and share stories. Yeah, you're awful, Yai. All right, all right. You win, I lose. Happy now? Mm-hmm. Ha! <laughs> I finally get to hear you say it centuries later. Ooh, I must say it feels good. Wow, and she gets her way again. Hmm. <laughs> I remember when you were just a little girl, always hanging off my shoulders. A few hundred years later, and you're all grown up. Great. Oh, Urakusai, how much time do you have left? None. Bye. Not much. Goes for all of us, actually. We've all got to go back where we came from in the end. Everyone's quite content in many ways, but they still can't help but ask, are we ever going to have another Hyakyako? I don't know what that is. <laughs> don't you worry about that, Urakusai. Arrangements are being made. When We're my not bell invited. rings, it means the moonless night is upon us. Oh, there is a moonless night. <laughs> Great. Wonderful. <laughs> Fantastic. Miko, I said wonderful nice so much, up, too. But I'd better conserve my energy if I want to stick it out until then. So, I'll be on my way now. Bye-bye. Thanks for leaving my body alone. I hate this. All right. Goodbye, then, Urakusai. One last thing, Miko. I just want to know. Have you been well all these years? I've been great, of course. Every day is a happy one, especially these days. Not only do I have my light novels, but I've also met <laughs> these two delightfully nosy outlanders. <laughs> Understandable, to be honest. I do complain about Yai, but it's true that we are just as, if not even more, nosy. And even A is finally starting to come to her senses. Quite a miracle, given how pig-headed she can be. Pig-headed? Oh, well, great. That's fantastic. Wonderful, once again. Urakusai, you'd be right at home in this era. She, she, he said he was leaving, Yai. Can you give me my body back? A great storyteller and artist like yourself would be the Yai Publishing House's ace in the hole, and I would personally be hounding you over your next installment. Great. <laughs> Goodbye, Urakusai. I live again. He disappeared. And so did I. I'm dead. Are you awake? How Hi. are you feeling? Echoey. Are you all there? Here. Like last time, repeat after me. I will not say Yai is better than me. Three, two, one, one, two, three. Which one was it? I think it was one, two, three. Oh, you beat me to it. <laughs> Looks like your brain is intact. Of course. So, your first possession, what was it like? Never again. I hate it. 
it's not even my real body and I hate it. Just couldn't get in on the conversation myself. <laughs> I do remember everything pretty clearly though. <laughs> Good. Saves me from having to explain everything again. Wow, you're so lucky and lazy. Hearing Rakusai admit defeat has put me in the most wonderful mood. Wow. In return, it's only fair that we make sure to deliver on what they're all hoping for. Right. You mean the Moonless Knight? They want to do a Hyaki Yako? Yes, though they only represent a tiny proportion of the memories in the ley lines, it will still be quite a sight to behold when the time comes. Okay, that's what the cutscene is. Since you've come this far, why don't you do one last thing for me, hmm? <sighs> I'll need your help with the ritual. Fine. You cannot be serious, Miko! After all that, you still have more errands for us? That's what it comes down to, though. Miko knew all of this was going to happen. Literally knew everything from the start. We just did the most boring stuff just for her to be able to get victory over a thousand-year-old friend and organize a party for him. <gasps> you guys teamed up to scare Paimon just now. If you think Paimon me? can do anything you ask for, think again! You never do anything in the first place. How are you going to put me in this story? Aw, oh, come on. I'm really only asking you to finish what you started. Right. Besides, your paychecks are still in my hands. <laughs> I want paycheck? My paycheck? Uh, I'm not well, that excited for no it. Way out now. We're in too deep. Wonderful! Yes. 10k Mora, okay. Oh, banquet of parting. Hey, I'm here. Hello, Yai. Well, hello there, my little helpers. So nice of you to join me. You're right on time, too. As if we had a choice. <laughs> we just want our paychecks. We're not even getting a paycheck. It's not gonna be Mora. So, Nico, what exactly do we have to do to make this Hyakiyaku happen? Also, it's an eclipse. Oh, lunar eclipse. Have That's no what it's idea called. What it even means. Lunar eclipse. Just a gathering of the yokai. I, I feel like we understood that part. Back in the day at yokai gatherings, once everyone had had plenty to drink, one by one, they'd start soaring into the sky with their yokai powers. Mm -hmm. There were so many of them that their silhouettes would block out the moon. So it does literally happen. Interesting. But now, the yokai memories that leak from the ley lines are weak. Oh. They are no longer able to fly. So I will be performing a convocation ritual for them, gathering all the wandering memories together in one place. Cute. When the time comes, they will gather in the sky above the Grand Narukami Shrine. Mm -hmm. Once their energy is spent, they will be satisfied and return to where they belong. I see. All the preparations for the ritual have actually been made well in advance. Great. Remember the incantation and the mention of Moonless Night that I added to our novel? Of course. Oh, yeah! Something about reciting the secret spells of Lady Kitsune on a Moonless Night. I haven't read the book, so I couldn't know. That's the one. What the spell actually. is, that is. It's not a wish-granting incantation at all. It's a spell to help calm the ley line memories. Wow, so smart. When that time comes, let's all pitch in and help send them on their way. What do you need from me? I will start the ritual preparations shortly, and at that time, two I need things. you to do two things. First, tell the shrine maidens to leave the mountain. <sighs> okay. During the Hyakyako, a whole swarm of yokai memories will be hanging around in the air mm -hmm. above the Grand Narukami Shrine. I understand. Having the shrine maidens leave avoids the bothersome issue of someone potentially getting possessed. Scary. Oh, Paimon really flexing her teeth right now. After that, I will commence the ritual and the memories will begin to congregate. This will take some time. Ugh. I need you at the foot of Mount Yogo during this part to keep an eye on nearby monster activity. I get to do the boring stuff again, thank you, The memories are normally dispersed and don't pose a threat, but when their energy is concentrated, it is likely to disturb the monsters. Understood. They may see this as an opportunity to try and make it up the mountain. Would never happen. I need you to fend them off so that that doesn't happen. Love doing that. Love killing Halo Trills, my favorite pastime. Alright, got it. Then what? Then what? Hmm. Well, if at that point you felt like coming to the shrine and getting a close-up view of the yokai, though. I wouldn't say no. Okay, let's get going! Sure, let's go talk to maidens and then kill Hilatrols. Yes! Uh, yes, I'm so excited! I just can't hide it how excited I am. Hi, you need to leave, Maki. To go away. Mountain? Yeah. Are those Lady Coochie's orders? Yes, go away. Miko said the ritual she's gonna perform soon might pose a physical danger to you all. We're just telling them straight I up. See. I'll evacuate everyone right away. W what about you? I'm a slave, so I'll have to defeat monsters while they're having fun. We'll be taking care of a couple other things for her. And once we're done with that, we're gonna come back and do the ritual together. We'll say this to be slimy so she hears us and likes us because we want to make sure she's safe too. 
It seems like Lady Guji places great trust in you. Yeah. Lady Guji's never allowed anyone else to be in her presence when she's conducted rituals like this in the past. Well, to be fair, we're at the bottom of the mountain fighting Hillishrills. I don't know if you can call it in her presence. Thank you for helping with the ritual. And good luck. Thank you. Don't worry, we're much stronger than we look. I am. Paimon is, and Paimon's useless. Nico's about to start the ritual. Come on, let's go deal with the monsters down the mountain. <sighs> fine, fine. As night falls, These the monsters, monsters start to gather really and whatever. Let's get rid of them for Mika. Yep, yep. It but is actually the other trolls, too. As we can. Then we can get back in time to see the yokai. Sure. All right, here they come. Good luck. There's slimes now. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, They're gone. Speed. This is so fun. Mom. Honestly, this was a great I moment to just on. make us fight a bunch more stuff. And I'm what dead. A sorry. Sick. Sorry. All right, that's the last of the monsters. Wonderful. I'm going back up. And we get to get a cutscene. For all of our efforts, it better be a good How one. How long do you think the ritual is? I don't know. Let's, head back to Let's see it. Here we go. Cutscene time. We've worked hard for this. Whoa. So many. They're everywhere. Mm. Huh? Yes, the memories yes. of the yokai. Mm -hmm. They haven't been able to relax and soar through the air like this for a long time. And we enable it once again. We're such Come heroes. With me. Can you carry us up, Yai? Can we fly on your back? Become a fox and send us up in the sky. Oh, look, she's got the little sticks. You all right, little one? You're becoming you a fox, a aren't you? Nervous. It's just Hyman's never seen anything like this before. Whoa, they've really Whoa. blocked out the moon. Not yet. Wow, now they have. Darkness. It does look a little intimidating, doesn't it? Yes. But I know them. They may be loud and brash at times, but they are good and brave souls. Great. Even after losing their lives in a brutal war, they have never given in to grief or despair. Alas, their time is short. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Feasts come to an end. <laughs> Since you're sorry to see them leave, why don't you do the recital along with me? <laughs> why don't you join them? <laughs> oh, Hakushin, oh, Hakushin. Cause, of this cause of this enchantment. In reverence, I, In perform, reverence, this I perform, right. perform this rite. In reverence, I perform this rite. To be, to be a guiding, a guiding light. light. I'm doing it. Is that it? Are these all people doing the incantation as well? <laughs> the book says, recite the secret spells. Okay, that's pretty Kitsune cute. That's pretty cute. Our wishes you got true. me. Hey, my favorite. I, I always forget her name. My favorite, so. Oh, Hakushin. Cause of this enchantment. Okay, that's pretty cute. this right to be a guiding light. Uh -huh. Your unrivaled power will be honored eternally. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. They have a way. They have a way with music and lights to make everything emotional. Murakusai, you asked if I was doing well. Really, every day is a happy day for me. That's good. But watching you all leave now. Yeah. I can't help but feel a little lonely. Mm. Just a little, of course. <laughs> Just as I thought, the ritual went very smoothly. Thank you both. Hey, sound a little sad there at the end. You alright? Hmm? Oh, I'm great. Right. But the look on your face just now. Mm-hmm. I'm fine, seriously. Really, I What do you see? No. Oh. Honestly, you two. <laughs> no, stop. 
Now I feel bad for talking shit. <laughs> Pico. <laughs> Fine. Well, if you're dead set on doing something for me, you can treat me to a meal. Sure, no problem. A meal it is. A meal is a deal. Okay. Well, see you soon then. See you soon. Is that still in this? It is? <laughs> Wait till the appointed time. There w soon isn't an appointed time. I'll go to a normal time for having a meal. 12. See you then. Ooh, you restaurant. Good timing for some fat right ping here. right before right it ends. Alright, these boys are waiting for us. What do you have to say? Readers. Wait is unbearable. How is the next chapter of the miraculous adventures of the traveler not released yet? <laughs> I know. It was quite a surprise when the moonless night finally came. I know. Yeah, that huge black cloud over Mount Yogo that night. It just seemed to form out of nowhere. Crazy. But then nothing happened after I made a wish using the method in that book. Oh yeah, it did. I guess like novels are just fiction after all, huh? <laughs> That night was definitely the nail in the coffin for the incantations from novels fad. Still, <laughs> something tells me the miraculous adventures of the Traveler will remain an interesting series for a long time to come. Right. Huh? Hyman can't see Miku anywhere. Guess she's not out here. Maybe she went inside already. Sure. Let's head in and look for her. Uh huh. Yeah. I... Ah, my little friends. Hi. There you are. How's it going? Miku, what is this? You started eating without us? <laughs> I did, yes. You're paying, after all. That's so disrespectful. See, now I want to be mean again. You just have to be more normal. Then people will be nice and you won't feel lonely. The thought of being able to eat the most expensive dishes and drink the finest sake, all for absolutely free? You're awful person. Oh, I just couldn't wait any longer. You're awful person, Miko. Ah, uh, boss, see these two faces here? Remember them. They're the ones picking up the bill later. Yeah, I'll write it off on Narukami Shrine ticket sales. Alrighty. Alrighty. Uh... Dot, dot, dot. What's gotten into you? Come on, sit yourselves down. Well, I guess this is... We're literally gonna break even. She's gonna pay with our paycheck. That's what's gonna happen. You have to try this fish. It's found exclusively in the waters around Seirai Island. They shipped it to Inazuma overnight, and it was still alive right up until I ordered it. Wow. I bet it's expensive. Or maybe you'd rather try this? I know, I know. I normally can't bring myself to drink sake this expensive either. I'm not allowed to drink alcohol, I just talked to the boss earlier. If you don't drink alcohol, that's fine too. There are all kinds of fruit juices covering the whole price spectrum. Yo, are you saying there might be cold Sunsetia juice? Uh, Nico, you are outrageous! Yeah, you are outrageous to be honest. Bless Working on the novel, all you ordered for us was the plainest kushikatsu! <laughs> hmm, strange. I remember no such thing. And fried tofu, that was it. Oh, so what? You did offer to treat me to a meal, No, didn't you, you asked me to treat you anyway, to a meal. Anyway, I am something of a VIP, you know. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you find it embarrassing to treat me anything short of lavishly? I couldn't care less. Nico, this meal is going to be super expensive! Aren't you afraid we won't be able to afford it? And this place isn't even worth mentioning. <laughs> oh, don't you worry about that. You can most definitely afford it. They're still printing your light novel by the batch, you know. You have quite the generous payment due. And you're eating it all up. Uh, what? Aw, oh, darn it! She tricked us into this! Miko was after our Mora from the very beginning! I know. How are you surprised? Shouldn't have let her guard down? I didn't! The whole story I knew this was gonna happen. I'm crying. That is one pissed off Paimon right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the looks on your faces right now. Too perfect. <laughs> I don't like Yai. You suck. Oh, by the way, since nobody's wishes came true on the moonless night, novels with incantations are no longer in vogue. We know. We also listen to the people in front of the store. So you'll have to come up with something new for the next chapter of The Miraculous Adventures of the Because you think Traveler. I'm going to help you with that now. The deadline is looming. I'm counting on you. Nope. You wish. You wish. Wow, two Miko? Hey, the Great Norikami offering completed. Great job, everybody. We got robbed. Thank you for the meal. Mm -hmm. I thoroughly enjoyed myself today. Yeah, no problem. Oh, did I mention? Mm -hmm. A, saw that convocation ritual we performed over the Grand Narukami Shrine. Right. I know she can be pig-headed, but it still took me by surprise when she wrote me a long and sternly worded letter about it, chastising me for taking this whole thing much too far. Wow, I side with her on this, because you've annoyed me today. Oh, I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Everyone seemed perfectly happy to me. Well, I'm not. 
Okay, and that's that then, I guess. Alrighty then, welcome everybody to the outro of this video. I am tired of Yai's it. <laughs> this girl is so manipulative. Everyone's okay with it. I'm not okay with it. Look, the light's turned off. I'm already on the I'm already on the ban list now. No longer allowed in Narukami Shrine because I'm just speaking facts. Either way, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had fun with it. I wouldn't say it's my favorite story quest. It was okay. It was cool because it had references. Other than that, nothing too crazy in my opinion. But it's good. We're done with that now. Hopefully we're done with stories for a good while <laughs> and we get to do some event videos soon because I would like to edit a bit shorter videos now. That'd be nice. I think that's all. I'll see you soon with maybe that new Enkonomiya event. I have no idea how exactly it works. Haven't started it yet, but I really don't want to explore it again. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. We'll see what happens. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day or night, and I hope to see you in the next one. Lots of love, and bye-bye. Uh,